Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video talking about why I use PHP even though I don't really like it. And I'm doing this video mainly because recently I released a video, Worst 3 Programming Languages, and I should have expected it, but <laughs> it caught me by surprise when this video kind of went viral to a, to a small extent. And a lot of the comments were calling me a hypocrite because I say PHP is one of the worst, and then I have a website powered by PHP. What the heck? Does that make me a hypocrite? Absolutely not. Maybe, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna get into in this video, and hopefully this will help clear up some confusion about that video because it really didn't um, serve the purpose I was hoping for. <laughs> so objectively stating which languages are best or worst doesn't really make sense because it ultimately comes down to personal preference and personal opinion. So that video was primarily my opinion, <laughs> and you guys are welcome to disagree with that. But even so, even after doing that video, I still think PHP is pretty low on my favorite language list, <laughs> like near the bottom. And this video is going to be talking about why I still use it, even though I think that way. Some of you who have been using PHP since it came out may have a different opinion, and that's totally cool. But this is my personal opinion, so hopefully you guys can understand that. And if you disagree, you can nicely leave a comment below, <laughs> as if that's going to happen. Now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's get started. So why exactly do I use PHP for my website? The first reason is because PHP is a potential tool in my toolbox. I don't think it's a completely worthless, useless language. It's widely used. I just don't like it. <laughs> so it's obviously possible to build websites with PHP. That's like a side reason, though. That's not the main reason I use PHP. I don't use PHP because it's a potential tool. I use PHP because I use a content management system. Now I know it's hard for you seasoned pros to understand this, but a content management system allows you to create content rather than focusing on the code and the database. So I can use WordPress, which is the content management system I use, and I don't have to worry a thing about the code. This means I can abstract away the programming language in my mind and I don't have to worry about any of that. Thus, it doesn't matter if it's programmed in PHP, C Sharp, Java, whatever the programming language is, it doesn't matter as long as I'm able to create blocks. So saying, oh, I use WordPress, therefore I'm a hypocrite, really doesn't make sense. In my opinion, WordPress is one of the best content management systems and it makes the blog creation process super simple and I absolutely love the experience using WordPress. What you guys are saying is, because I don't prefer PHP, I shouldn't use WordPress because that makes me a hypocrite. Thus, I should just manually code everything or find a content management system programmed in a different programming language. There are other content management systems developed in different languages, but that really isn't the point of a content management system. So the thing I'm trying to explain here is that my development process is different than my content creation process. As I'm a developer, you know, I want to do coding and I want to build these applications, but when I want to create content on the internet, I don't want to be caught up in that process. I just want to create the content and not have to worry about coding. One of the reasons PHP is so popular is not only because of the content management systems, but most of the popular web hosting companies support and actively promote PHP. So for example, I recommend Bluehost. And this is the web hosting that I suggest for hosting a WordPress blog. But Bluehost is just one of the web hosting companies out there, and there are a ton. And the majority of these web hosting companies are encouraging people to build applications using WordPress and PHP. So PHP in general is a more accessible programming language. You can just go to a shared hosting place, set up a MySQL database, PHP, and you have an application up and ready to go. That might be of interest for the PHP developers, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I join these web hosting companies and I use the one-click install. Click, boom, I have a WordPress, there you go. In this situation, I see PHP as the tool used to get the job done. Now from a developer perspective, <laughs> I would not recommend PHP because the majority of PHP applications are going to be with WordPress. And in general, I don't even consider WordPress to be this elegantly designed PHP platform, but it works. In general, it's less about what language you use and more about what are you trying to achieve and what are the tools that you can use to get that job done. WordPress makes it super easy to create a block, but when it comes to general programming, the main reason I don't recommend PHP is that the domain of problems it can solve is very small compared to a general purpose programming language such as C Sharp. So for C-sharp, I could build a website using ASP.NET Core, or I could build an iPhone or Android app using Xamarin, or in my free time, I could build a game using Unity. 
there is a much larger variety of applications that I can create using a C sharp code base. And as a side note, C sharp is strongly typed and statically typed, which in my opinion just makes building applications at the large scale a lot easier. Everyone says, oh, PHP rocks because Facebook uses PHP, or that's like a, somehow validating that PHP is able to scale. But this really doesn't prove anything because for every case of why you should use PHP because of the scalability, well, there is another framework that you could use in a different language that has those same things. So for example, in Node.js, Walmart's built with Node.js, Netflix is built with Node.js. It seems every reason to use PHP because of its scalability is countered by a reason to use something else because of its scalability. And for my personal situation, my blog is never going to ever reach that scale. So it's really not a concern to me anyways. And any language is gonna work just fine. And on another note, yes, I know worst three programming languages has a very negative vibe and it's unfortunate YouTube chose that video to go viral over the 800 other videos I have that are all very positive. <laughs> you know, I was thinking maybe it's just the title that's negative and that's why everyone's having such a strong negative response. But honestly, I can't think of any other good title for the video. Three languages I don't prefer. Languages that everyone likes, but I'd prefer not to use. Or to make it even more positive, top three languages that are actually the worst. Yeah, I think I'll just keep the original title. So to conclude, PHP definitely has its place, and despite everything inside of me that says it's the worst language ever, the development community doesn't necessarily agree, and I don't see PHP going away anytime soon. Dang it. And as for me, I'm going to continue to use WordPress because that's an entirely different issue, and I think it's the perfect CMS for what I'm trying to do here. So what do you think? Should we judge a CMS by its language? Do you agree that PHP is 100% objectively the absolute worst programming language of all time in the entire universe? Yeah, me too. Hopefully this cleared up some confusion, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe and hopefully we can uh, move on and everyone can just get along. <laughs> Unless you uh, like PHP, of course. And that's that. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.